Hi guys, um, today I would like to join the collaboration for what I will and what I won't grow in the garden again. Some of the things that I will grow again and um, it's the usual things like radish, cucumber, spinach, lettuce, green beans, tomato, tomatilla, carrots, potatoes, and sweet potatoes. Now, one of the things that I will definitely grow again, but it is not very common, is something called ground cherry. They are a little yellow. They almost look like tomatoes. Um, but they are not. The flavor of these things, when after I made the preserves out of them, was amazing. I had actually been worried about what they were going to taste like. And I had them in the freezer for, it's probably about 9 or 10 months, just because I was worried about what to do with them and what they were going to taste like once I, you know, got them canned up. But, oh my gosh. <laughs> I mean, I can't even describe it, but somewhere between buttery and sweet and, yeah, it was just, I mean, wow. I never would have thought, never would have thought. After growing those things out there in the garden and yeah, never would have thought, but they, it was surprising. Um, they uh, come in these little husks, if I remember right. I, th yeah, I think the ground cherries are the ones with the little husks. But uh, they come in this little husk, it's kind of like a tomatillo and you pop them out and throw them in a bag and wait to, you know, you get a bag full and make jam, jelly, or preserves or whatever out of them. Now, the things that I won't can again, and at the top of my list is garden huckleberry. I grew it beside the garden cherry a couple years ago, and the garden huckleberry looks very similar to the ground cherry except it is a little purple almost black berry on the plant and um again you know looks a little similar to like little cherry tomatoes but not nope i ended up making a uh, preserve out of it I did not like it. Did not like it. I, it was, I mean, yeah. So no on the garden huckleberry. You know, I, that, I think that's why I was so worried to can up the ground cherry was because I knew I did not like the garden huckleberry at all. And so I was worried about the ground cherry, but no. The ground cherry, amazing. Garden huckleberry, not. One of the other things I will not grow again is cauliflower. Our cauliflower was wormy. It had like little bitty, almost maggot type worms all of it, all over it as it was growing. So I knew it wasn't rotten, but it just wormy. I, you know, in the way cauliflower grows, I couldn't put, you know, like seven dust or, you know, something like that on it. So I won't grow cauliflower again. I mean, I love cauliflower, but no. The other thing I will not grow again is Brussels sprouts. Um, I just, I didn't like growing them. I mean, it was just, yeah. Picking them off the, the stalk thingy, and yeah, I just, I didn't like it. You know, I mean, I don't think, I don't know if it's anything necessarily in particular. I just, 
I just didn't like it. Now, <clears throat> this is something I have never grown, but I will not grow. And that is kale. Uh, several years ago, uh, someone gave me a bag of kale chips. Nope. I ended up feeding those to either my chickens or my goats. I can't remember which. Probably the chickens. But nope. Mm -mm. And then the chards. That's another greeny, leafy. No. Mm -mm. I won't grow those either. I just... I don't know. I can't even... I don't know. I just, nope. I just won't. Um, so, in a way, that's some of the things that I will and will not grow in our garden again. But if you get a chance and you've never had it, I highly recommend ground cherry. I mean, it just threw me for a loop, honestly. It really did. I love it. So, I gotta get off of here. He's getting into the water at the sink. So, anyway, take care, and I will see you next time. Mm -hmm.